All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, I am gonna be doing something with my brakes, as you can see in the title. Now, this is gonna be the first video of 2024. Now, I know it's nothing special, but it is something that needed to be done. And what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna be replacing my brake pads in the front, and the reason being is because they're getting low. I was thinking about going ahead and doing a big brake swap, and I was actually gonna do a Cadillac ATS Brembo kit. You can actually get the Cadillac Brembo and then you can get like some 13 inch cover rotors. And there's a company called SNS Engineering who actually makes a mock-up kit for it. And that allows you to convert your front brakes into Brembo's for a whole lot cheaper than buying an actual big brake kit. The only downside if I did do that would be the fact that I can only fit like an 18 inch wheel up there. I don't really plan on changing the front wheels, but it is a really tight fit with that kit mainly because it is a GM part on a Ford car. You could actually spend like a couple extra hundred dollars and get like a 2000 cover R kit that I was gonna maybe think about doing, but that kit's like $1,400, so I wasn't really wanting to drop that on front brakes for a car that doesn't really need that much stopping power. And plus, whenever I convert that in the front, I would have to convert something in the rear to kind of make a good even braking pattern. Just because I am doing pads doesn't mean I'm not gonna do something in the future. I just didn't think it was that necessary to do something right now. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and hop into it and I guess start fixing these brakes. All right, so I actually forgot to put a piece of wood that I could lift the car up with the jack. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick just so I can get on up here. It was this wheel too. Came off easy. All right, so wheels off. And luckily, I, I need to replace these like really bad because that's kind of the main reason I was wanting to replace with a big brake kit. Just because these, I mean, one, they look awful, and no telling how long they've actually been on the car. I know I haven't changed anything since I've had it. And this, and this year, I'm really wanting to dive into like a lot more suspension stuff, trying to get this car actually handling and like sitting right and more comfortable to drive. Because right now, those springs are the only thing that's done for the suspension. Other than, I mean, I replaced like ball joints, but. Other than that, I mean, there's really nothing done major to the car. I know I keep saying I'm gonna do coil loaders, but I don't know exactly what my plans is of right now. I got a lot of like real life stuff I've got to deal with. So I don't have a whole bunch of time to do a bunch of stuff to the car and buy a bunch of parts, but I promise I will be diving into a lot of suspension stuff. And there's a couple of things I was wanting to do like on the interior and it's really just matching my shift boot and then my e-brake boot with this Alcantara like stripe look. And then obviously eventually I'll get seats if I don't really daily this car anymore. I kind of thought different on seats and you know, I was gonna do like some like Corbos, but now they'll still be Corbos, but I kind of have a different idea now. I kind of want to do Corbo GTS twos. I've only ever seen them in like a couple new edges and I don't really think it's that common, but they're kind of like a sports seat but they're still really nice and like dailyable. It's these seats right here. So there's a, they're about 1400, which is cheaper than other seats I was looking at. But you can see it's got like the Alcantara suede material and then it's like leather. The only thing that would be throwing it off is the white stripes. Cause I also have like the red and everything in the car, but that's not that big of a deal. But I feel like those would look actually really good in this thing. Cause it's still, a uh, racing seat but it's still like a really comfortable and this car is never going to be like a track monster or, like i ain't gonna be doing autocross or anything in it so i don't really need like a legit bucket seat but i would like to upgrade from these seats i really like the stock 03 04 cobra seats 
with like the suede in the middle but obviously i'm not going to put cover seats in my gt so that's whenever i found these and i mean honestly i think they would look really good and it's kind of the same style the only thing that's really different is it's more square at the top and then it has a bigger headrest let me know what you guys would think about that i wouldn't be doing this probably that soon it's just if i did put seats in here and it kind of does suck because i think there's like an rtr meet i think and it's like i don't know if they're doing an unveiling or not i didn't really know too much about it but the rtr like headquarters in north carolina it's not that far from me it's like i think maybe an hour or two and they're doing an event right now which i had no idea but i think it would have been really cool if i could have made it out there i'm doing this instead and there's a lot of stuff that i do want to do to this car in this new year and obviously like i said i want to dive into suspension but other than that i wouldn't mind like doing a different front bumper and like different hood and all that but i mean you get into so much money dumping into it to stuff that's not performance wise i don't care for this thing to be the fastest in the world but i would love it to sit right at like five six hundred i know i would have to build a motor for that but even if i could get it sitting at like 400 with a blower or whatever it may be i think that's a perfect street car being as light as these are because i'm not trying to be the fastest out there there's always going to be something faster than you in the road but i just want a fun street car that i can do whatever in and this is honestly a really good platform and it's cheap so that's where it would benefit me now two valves aren't the best for making power just because you got to dump so much money into it to be able to like build over 450 i know i could throw like some coyote rods and like some different pistons and i could be sitting right around like 700 i think is where my like max would be i don't really know what i'm gonna do i wouldn't mind building a tube out like throwing a blower on it but at the same time the way that stuff is nowadays to buy like a blower brand new i could basically almost buy an entire coyote motor and then just spend a couple extra bucks and throw a coyote in it i really want a terminator but I'm trying to move out first before I get that because I want a house more than I want a new car. I know I said I was going to get a new car back then and who knows, maybe I'll get like a newer Mustang as a daily just because it's more comfortable and more reliable. But I don't really know. I'm honestly just searching for like a cheaper daily that won't really break the bank because I'm trying to be able to get to the point where I can afford a house whenever this market and everything goes down like crazy. Oh. I got this side all knocked out and I'm gonna go and do the other side. Hey, I'm gonna have to get that piece of wood out, put it on the other side, sadly. I don't know why I didn't just put it on both sides. These are the pads that I ended up going with. It's just some Duralast gold ones. Just, you know, the regular stuff. That's what sucks about low cars when you don't have a lift. Have to do stuff like this. Okay, so I just got both calipers finished up and I got the wheels torqued back down. So honestly, what I'm probably gonna go do is I'm probably gonna go drive it up the road just to make sure everything's fine. And I guess I'll bring you guys along.
driving around the block. So far, everything seems okay. I mean, they seem to stop pretty good, so it's a plus. I just now I'm gonna have to double check the lug nuts whenever I get back to the house. down it's like probably like 40 degrees plus like a lot of wind so I did actually get everything tightened up and I drove it around a little bit and everything seems to be fine so far now I am actually about to go visit my grandparents so I'm gonna go ahead and drive it over there too they don't live that far away and I've got the torque wrench and everything just in case for the lug nuts but I'm gonna go over there make sure everything's still good other than that I mean that's I guess the first video of 2024 hope you guys did enjoy I know it's nothing too too special and I know it's pretty simple video I don't really know how much actually had gotten filmed just because my GoPro had died and then I was having some issues trying to get the wheel off. So I don't really know exactly everything that I did capture. Also be on the lookout for all the new videos. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing next. I do want to eventually do the big brake kit like I was talking on the front and then I do want to put on a lot more suspension stuff. And on top of that, I kind of want to do a full exhaust. I'm not sure yet, but like I said, I still want to boost this thing. I still want to do stuff to it but I'm still kind of in the search for a daily and got some real life stuff going on too. So I guess other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys next time.